What's up guys? Today we're working on 2006 BMW 325i. So the vehicle came in with no crank, no start situation. So as you can see, right now I have the key here. Let's insert the key first. Okay, right now I let me do some basic tech right here. Let you guys see. Okay. Right now the key on, the key on. N normally, all driver can do, you know, they don't need to turn on the ignition like this before it starts the engine. They just insert the key, brake, and then just one track right here on the start stop button, and then the vehicle will start. Okay, let's see. What I want to do right here, okay, right now it's missing key on. If you want to st start the engine, you have to brake. If you want to stop, you don't need to brake. Right now, I don't brake the brake, but I can crack one more time. You guys see, yes, it's missing stop, okay, off oh, right now. Okay, anyway, back to on. Okay. Okay, right now I want to start to see. Okay. When I try to start the engine to confirm the customer complaint, it crank a start or something nothing happened. Okay, listen guys. Okay, I break on it right now and I can crank it. Okay, I can hear the fuel pump running. The mission is still on. I have the answer. The, this week it okay, and we have the signal from the brake. Okay, one more time. Listen to the video, you guys. You can hear the fuel pump running. Yep. Okay. Let me release the brake. Okay. You can see it needs an up right now. So, for a fuel stop basic tag, I have the inside the start stop button. The squeak in here, at least in squeak. Maybe okay. We have the signal from the brake, and when I try to start, hear nothing. No click, no anything. But I heard the fuel pump running. Okay, let go under the hood, and uh, I will show you guys some basic test. And I try to make a short video. I don't want a too long video anymore. Okay. Okay, let me take the key out. Every time working on car, the key come with me when I go outside. Or if I want to leave it inside, I have to close out the window. At least. One driver with side window down, and I can able to. Don't worry anymore. I can put the key inside the car when I get out from the car. Okay. Okay, guys. Under the hood, I will do some basic tattoo for you guys. See that this is we call the yum yum start charging point. This one they connect direct to the battery on the car, the battery in, inside the trunk, in the back of the vehicle. Okay, first thing we need to check here to see we have the power here or not. Yep, we have the power, okay. 
and I'll show the connection in here for the starter. Let me try to to take them here. Yep, we have the power in here. So, and every time working on car, you know, if it take long time, we have to charge the batteries. You see, yeah. You see, we can have. I'm charging right now. Okay. And I have here. Uh, Power Pro, yeah, connect to the power, okay. And you know, the cable will run from there all the way to this side and go there in the back of the, of the starter. But from there, they connect the charging cable to the alternator, as you can see down here. I can tuck in here to see the power go all the way here now. Yeah, as you can see, we have the power here. And what happened in the back, you can see by the tower. Okay, let me try to put it down there. Let me use the light. Yeah, yeah, I have the light here. Yeah, good. Yeah, easy for you guys to see down there. Yep, you see the red color right there, the cable. I don't know where my headlight is. Yeah, sorry, the camera. I will touch the cable. You see. Come on. Yeah, guys, I have the power goes all the way to the back of the alternator. Okay, so now what? Go oh, for the wire diagram and how you can see the starter circuit look like and uh, what we should do from there. Okay. Okay, guys. Sorry for flare. So here the vehicle repair menu 2006 BMW 325i uh, E90 3.0 liter engine. So let me start uh, as at the starting charging system and right now see what's going on. How the circuit look like here starting circuits. As you can see. We have here, you guys can see the starter, right? Here the starter. Okay, anyway, come on. Yeah, here the starter. And uh, let's see. Uh, anyway. Okay, guys, here the starter. Okay. And right there, earlier under the hood, and you can see uh, battery positive jump start junction point okay earlier at that right here we have the voltage here this is hot at all time they connect direct to the back of the vehicle and connect to the battery so we have the wire here go to direct to the behind the starter And the second time, I check on the alternator right here. We have the power. And the third time, I tap right here under the intake manifold. And we have the power here. So now what? Let's see the wire. You see, at the closer to the starter, it will be the white color and it will come to the car access system car, car access module it will become the black on this black wire for the starter 
solenoid control by this module easy to see this wire because this wire is a heavy gate bigger than any wire come to the module and go and this module is located under the dash uh, on the driver side okay let's uh now easy we can access to measure from here from this module because if you measure from here anyway we have to remove and take manifold to get ready to remove the starter but what happened if you remove the intake manifold and uh, before you do something you should do but you don't do that and then you remove the intake manifold of course if you do that that means you don't have a spirit and you remove the starter put the new one in and try to start it it's still no start no crack and big trouble okay i'd rather show you guys for me i measure here first when i access here to measure at this point i will have uh, two resorts right here footing okay anyway let's access here i will remove the dash lower cover to access the module get everything ready and you guys can see how i measure right here and how i know this module control the solenoid and how i know the circuits the wire open or broken the coil in here uh, in the solenoid okay let uh check it out together okay guys get ready to access the car access uh, control module i already move the lower cover as you can see right here and uh, the dash on the driver's side here the it's hard for you guys to see in the video right here the car as a uh, module here guys as you can see on the connector we have a bun of wire here earlier actually we I don't worry about the black wire over here we have a uh, power ground come with the, you can see power here with the red car uh, and uh, you can see the black wire right here I already pinned on it with the, my uh, pin tool here okay uh, what I would like to see right now on the ground on this wire should tell me the ground what happened okay like as you can see like I can uh, draw for you easy to see right here the module right this, this is the black wire I already pin it here pin it here and this side connect to the the starter solenoid sorry for my draw is not too yeah okay this this starter mount to the transmission you know this crowded right like that I mean yeah yep okay what happened right now I measure on this wire no matter key on key up I would like to see that my tool will tell me the negative right here where this negative came from come from come from here and uh, inside here go to the solenoid coil and go all the way to here but right now both sides 
connected. You see right here, connect to ground, right here still connect to the module. You might feel maybe the ground from here, not here. Maybe I uh, later I will check for you guys to see exactly where the ground is. But now I would like to see when I hook up the tool, it's telling me the ground, no matter right now the key on. telling me ground right now guys right? okay with the key off as you can see right now the key off I can able to disconnect the connection sorry guys I just got it tight here solenoid problem inside the solenoid is same thing like the relay guy when it pop the gear up to uh, engage the flywheel also connected like um, like uh, you know what uh, uh, like the relay you know when you uh, apply the power here and this side with the ground and then it will connect the V like that okay and uh, with the decay look like you don't hear the glitch anything what that mean that mean that solenoid here I think is it doesn't work anymore we, we still have the continuity from the wire here all the way to the ground. Okay, now what I would like to do some more test under the hood by I will connect the two to the long jump cable enough to go under the hood and check some more to see you guys for so you guys see what's going on out there. Okay guys. I already have the cable connect to the pin uh, where the pin connect to the black wire control the starter cylinder okay as you can see the wire run along for, uh, inside the vehicle all the way go under the hood here on the engine bay and connect to my tool my tool is still telling me the ground but I already have turned off the tone Yep, as you can see right now, it's telling me the ground. When you diagnose on the starting system, as you can see, we should 
do some basic tech. I can see, I can do the light right here. I put it back down there. Okay, as you can see right now, the tech light I can take to do the power. I can check your power, check your connection. I can able to touch any body ground here on the engine block, something like that we have. Now what I mean, we have a good connection right there. Okay, I would like to put this uh, on the engine, engine uh, block. Okay, as you can see, we put on the engine block and it's good for connection down there because you see the light tap light light up but the problem if I move it I move this and maybe back connection down there maybe okay anyway uh, let me move to the crowd here yeah okay check for the crowd connection that we have the tap light on okay I can touch to the body uh, the engine block and anywhere I, I think it connects in As you guys can see right now on the headlight tip is touching the okay let me try to sorry I did no helper at all guys okay let me try touching right there move to the positive Light, light. That means we have a good connection on the tap light down there on the engine block. Okay, now carefully I put it to the ground. Make sure no shake in the tap light. Okay, it's still there. Okay, now. I try to start it. You know what happened? You can see if I start it. If you see the tap light, it light up. But that mean that mean uh, we have the background, okay? Okay. See, as you can see, the lights, the tap light still no light up. Also, we don't hear the click anything. You hear the click in the video, the click from this week, okay? Okay. Now, I can move the tap light to the positive side. Like, hopefully, I guess it's light up. Yeah, I got the satellite light up right there on the power cable in the back of the start. Okay, now I carefully remove to positive. Okay, of course, positive, positive, no light up. And I try to start again to test on the positive side. Yeah, as you can see. The headlight no light up at all. What that mean? That mean we have the good ground connection. We have the good positive cable. Everything. Uh, no phone to drop at all. Okay, guys. That's it for this video. Every time you diagnose on the starting system. Uh, do some basic test like this We test like this that we call the voltage drop back connection But in this case, I don't see any 
uh, bad connection at all and when I started even start by uh, key still no click at all start by jump start to the cable no click at all disconnect the another side of the black wire we still the tool still in the ground that mean that mean uh, we have the wire not open okay we have we still have the solenoid coil not open but somehow it doesn't work okay that's it guys did the heck on me new starter before remove the intake manifold remove everything here to remove the starter we have to carefully test to make sure what we do is the right way okay that's it guys thank you for watching see you guys next time bye bye